So here we have it in working order. Well, let's first go through all the functions it has because <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, we have the uh, volume control, the balance, and even a tone control. We have the controls for the micro cassette itself. We have a selector for tape, AM or FM. We have a pass function purely for the micro cassette. And we even have a mono and stereo function. On the front, we have a time set function, a sleep mode function, and a zero reset function. This will reset the tape counter to back to zero. On the side, we have a switch for counter, time, alarm, sleep, and time set. And for the alarm mode, we can choose between off, audio, and buzz. And in audio mode, we can actually also select whether we want to hear the radio. So if we would pull it on radio and the alarm goes off, it will play the radio. If it's on tape and press play, it will play the tape. And currently it's not playing because it is in audio mode for the alarm. If we put this in off, it will actually start turning. So, oh yeah, yeah, before I forget. The back side, uh, seems like we have forgotten something. Okay. On the back side, we even have two switches for the speed and something else. I actually don't know what this does. And I've tested it and I heard no difference, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a function. And of course, we have the radio dial. Let's first test the radio itself. Let's put it in FM mode. Look at that. That's better. It's a bit on the loud side, but okay, let's... This is the tone on high, and we can put the tone on low. Then this may sound a little bit better to these tiny speakers. Though I must say, that these speakers do not sound bad. We can uh, change the balance to left, change the balance to right, you know the drill. But we're here for something different. We want to hear the cassette. So, we have this beautiful fingerprinted <laughs> Maxell Vertex, Metal Vertex cassette tape, micro cassette thingy. All right. We have to put it in upside down. Oh, and the right way, of course, yeah. The place from left to right. Let's see. And uh, that's not much. Radio Micro Cassette Recorder D8000 with automatic stop. Working like a charm. So, here you have it. The Micro Cassette Tape Recorder. We can still test one function though. If we put it on time mode, we can see the time is now a quarter to five. The alarm mode is well, almost the same. But, if we would put it a little bit put it in audio mode and put the cassette tape in play mode and if we wait it starts playing the tape and oh yeah it also plays the buzzer only very silent actually ah okay it plays in both modes probably a little bit of uh, lead through I mean, it's an old device. So, yeah. Um, well, this is it. Well, oh, wait, wait, wait. We still have one function. We can, of course, put it into the slow-mo mode. Because it's already in fast mode. If we put it in slow mode, it will play at half speed. If it will play. Now it will. <laughs>
Almost done. Radio micro cassette recorder D8000 with automatic stop. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, it actually. As you can see, everything works. Oh yeah, of course we can still test uh, the pulse mode. And mono, but yeah, you cannot really hear the difference. Your radio micro cassette recorder D8000 with automatic stop. Working like a charm. So yeah, that's it. The uh, Philips stereo radio micro cassette recorder D8000 with automatic stop.